This is math 99. Uh, practice test number three, problem number seven. I'm supposed to solve this equation. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate that, make that a zero, eliminate that, make that a zero. And um, the, the way I can eliminate that is just go equation one minus equation two. So let me make a note of that, that that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go equation one minus equation two. I'm going to put that into the equation two spot. So as I do that, my first the, uh, x equation is just going to stay what it was, x plus 3y um, plus z equals 5. All good. So now if I go equation 1 minus equation 2, so x minus x, that's a 0. 3y minus negative 2y, that'll turn that positive, right? Minus a negative, so that's a 5y. And then um, z minus negative 5z, so that would make that positive, so that's a 6z. And then lastly, 5 minus 4 is 1. So that's good, made that a 0, so I want to make this a 0. So if I go this times negative 2, add it to that, that should uh, give me that. So what I'm going to do is... Um, negative 2 times equation 1 plus equation 3 goes into the equation 3 spot. So negative 2 times equation 1, let me write that up here, that would be negative 2x minus 6y, negative 2z, and then negative 10. So as I add those together, um, negative 2x plus 2x is 0, I wanted that to happen. Uh, negative 6y plus y is negative 5y. So that makes this a negative 5y. Uh, negative 2z minus 4z is negative 6z. So that makes this a negative 6z. And then uh, negative 10 plus 9 is negative 1. So here's my new system. And I notice something is afoot. And if I don't just see it right away, I just go to cancel that y. I could just add those two together, right? Add equation 2 to equation 3. And notice what happens if I do that is I end up with the um, same equation I had for the first equation. Second equation is that. And just, I mean, you don't need to go to this detail, but just so you can see what I did, I just went um, equation 2 plus equation 3 into the equation 3 spot because I wanted to make that a 0. And if I do that, I make zeros everywhere. There's a 0, there's a 0, there's a 0. 0 equals 0. So I end up with a true statement. A statement is always true. So this means there are an infinite number of solutions to this system.